December has just started and everyone is going crazy with the advent of code. If you're considering doing the challenges with either JavaScript or TypeScript as I'm doing, and you're running all the games one by one manually, let me show you a thing. This year I'm using a runner, which is basically the same runner I used last year. And what does this do? Well, basically it downloads the inputs, it sets up the file, submits the solutions and other handy features like the one I just mentioned. So if you're curious, stay with me a couple of minutes and I will show you how it works. The first thing you have to do is basically run mpx aoc runner in a folder and then the command init with this one. It will scaffold the project and actually ask you for some questions first, which will be the year you want to start, the directory name, if you want to go with JavaScript or TypeScript, if you want to be in strict mode, semicolons, and the author name. And with that, also if you want to use Yarn or PMPM, it's basically up to you. And now what it does, I think, is just runs npm install and generates all the basic files you need in your project. It's already done. So I can open it with code AOC2023. And now that it is open, let's see what's inside. First of all, you notice the source folder with the template. And the template basically has a function to parse the input when raw input will be the input of your challenge, the txt file basically. You have two functions for part one and part two, and this runner will execute them and also let you do other things like adding tests. But let's see it in action first. So just open the terminal and type npm run start and then the number of the day. So let's start with day one. What this does is basically take the template, which by the way you can change if you want, and generates the folder day one. It also adds a readme, handy if you want to write, for example, some notes. And index.ts is the file you just seen in the template, but inside this folder. But now, if I look at input.txt, you see that this is empty. So how does it work to fill this file? Well, if you notice in the terminal, it said invalid session key. So what's the session key? First thing it might come to your mind is look at the M variable. It wants a session key. And where can you find a session key? In the advent of code page. It's slightly hidden, but come on, you're a developer. And if you open here, it was already open. But basically on the DevTools under application, cookies, you see Advento code here. And here you can find your session ID. This is mine, so I think I'm gonna cover it in the video. And if you copy this session ID and you paste it here, okay, you can save. And now if you start again one of the days, it will automatically download the input specifically for your challenge. And by the way, you can find here input for day one saved. It says that part one and part two has been run, but the output is undefined. Guess why? It just returns undefined. And also from here, you can either fetch again the input in case you didn't have it complete here. Okay, there it is. You can send your solution, ask for help, or just quit from the execution. If you want to see a working example, no spoilers, this is day two of basically today. And if I type run and start day two, here you will see that the solutions are actually parsed and those are the outputs of my input. It also shows the total time, just in case you also want to compete for efficiency. And you can find in the readme, well, you can better see it from the browser that every time you complete a challenge, it updates the badges here and also the times are set there. One thing I noticed is that the original project looks like it is inactive, but I think it's kind of a cool project and it does what it has to do, so I recommend you to use it. But in case you know other runners for TypeScript or even for other languages, well, feel free to write them down in the comments so that if someone wants to use it, well, we have a good list down there. And with that said, this was really everything for today. It was kind of a quick video. So thanks for watching, happy advent of code, and wait, wait, are you subscribed to my channel? Subscribe now. Okay, thank you. And now that you're subscribed, thanks again for watching, happy advent of code, and see you in the next video. Bye.